Hello and welcome back to the Fast and Curious Podcast. I'm your new host while Grant is out, Luke, here today with my co-host. Alina. And what are we talking about today? We are doing a recap of the 2019 boys soccer season. Interesting. And y'all were no longer side feet. Stopped at a four. Hey, we had a good run. You had no type of run this season whatsoever. Y'all lost in the first round, dude. Sure did. I can't say much because the girls' soccer season lost first round last year, too. But this yeah, it's season, not like y'all have won conference or anything. Alrighty. So, Luke is a starting center back, number 11, the boys' team. You want to tell them how your season was this year? Um, You know, the season was had a lot of ups and downs. We had a, we had a lot of struggles in practice, you know getting concentrated and whatnot. Lou took the season a little lightly, and he came back to bite us in the face, but uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Those boys were my brothers. When the season started out, how did you feel? I felt pretty confident. You kind of can't help but feel confident coming off of a, you know, four-peat, but uh, obviously that confidence turned into arrogance, and we are where we are today because of it. Your last game, you played against East Chapel Hill at East Chapel Hill. We did. Had to travel. What were some of your emotions? What were your emotions going into the game? Uh, I hope my knee doesn't hurt this game, and other than that, it was very serious. And then when the game ended, how'd you feel? Um, I'd be lying if I said I felt emotional, because I didn't. But then after the little car ride home, I started feeling emotional. But not that emotional, but... You know, how long have you been playing guys. soccer with those boys? I've been playing with some of those guys since I was like in first grade, all the way back to kindergarten almost. Those yeah. really are some of my longest friends. Wow, very sentimental here on the podcast. My goodness, Grant sadly cannot be joining us today because um, Grant took a blow to the head in our last game. Felt like a warrior. <laughs> He has a concussion. He's been out with a concussion since last week. So that's why this podcast is on a slight delay. But basically, Luke had to get subbed out because his knee was hurting and his coach had decided to sub out a lot of the key players. So Grant got subbed in. He's been doing pretty well on defense. So it was about two minutes while he was in and then him and this kid jumped up for a header and Grant, if you didn't know what he looked like, redhead glasses he has to wear goggles in the game because he doesn't wear contacts Goggle so <laughs> the kid hit him right right on like the temple not on the temple but like right in the smack dab middle of his forehead he fell threw his glasses off face down onto the ground and then he got up stumbling he had to have two people escort him off the field it was a very sad thing to watch and then their coach Michael Pritchard didn't think, hey, you know, one of my players just got hurt, subbed him out for a hurt player. Let's throw in a new player. No, let's throw in the player that's already hurt. Let's let's make him suffer some more. So Luke had to go back in, finish the game off strong. I must say I'm proud. I attended all of the games this year. I'm really glad I did. It was a good time. Is that it? suppose so <laughs> all righty well it has been alina and your boy join us back for another podcast